Tonight, we are learning South Carolina's education system, ranked one of the worst in the country, could soon get its first major overhaul since the 1980s. On Thursday, House Speaker Jay Lucas filed an 84-page reform bill. That bill aims to improve students' reading levels, increase college or technical school preparedness, and offers incentives to teachers. But that's just the start. NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly has been digging through the bill today. And Ashley, what else is in it? Well, at 84 pages, there isn't much this bill doesn't address. Its goal to be a 21st century formula, ensuring all students in South Carolina have access to a 21st century education. The bill is a reform bill, a policy reform bill, and uh, the speaker has certainly looked at all elements of weaknesses in the state so that we can strengthen those. The bill creates a student bill of rights, which says students are entitled to a quality education and safe school environment. A statewide only 43% of third through eighth graders statewide tested on grade level for math or reading. And when it comes time to graduate into the Palmetto State's booming economy, only two out of every three students graduates high school prepared for most jobs. We've still got 60,000 jobs out there that we can't fill with skilled and educated labor. So with that said, we need to look within. The bill, a roadmap for how to improve, putting an emphasis on math, science, and computer technology programs, while dropping some statewide testing to give students more time to learn instead of preparing for tests. The bill also not forgetting teachers with plans to increase pay and training opportunities. Those are things that I think make sure that teachers stay in place, that they understand that we are serious about what we're trying to do. When you talk about things like, like allowing someone's child, because they're a teacher and they teach in one of these underserved districts for four years, allowing their child to go to college for free in South Carolina, those are things that move the needle. Now the bill just introduced yesterday, but already has bipartisan support. Asha Daly, NBC Charlotte.